Hi, I'm Lindsay Teague with Caden, and today I am joined by Marty Pete, who is the Senior Manager of Global Media and Alliance Marketing with American Airlines. Marty, nice to have you here today. Thanks for having me. I appreciate course, it. I uh, wanted to start off just have you introduce a little bit about your current role or any of sort of your previous background that led to your, to your role to date that you can share with us. Sure. Uh, let me see. This is my third airline. Uh, I've wow. been in travel aviation for uh, about 10 years, client mm -hmm. side. Before that, I was agency side. I uh, started this. I know that world well. Um, today, my team is responsible for the planning and, and buying of our paid media activity. We also support all of our alliance marketing partners as well. Very cool. Yeah. And you just recently launched a new CTV campaign. Congratulations. Thank you. Exciting. It is uh, exciting. It is exciting. Can you share with us a bit about your strategy uh, you know, against this new campaign? What were some of the you know, either targeting or creative tactics that went into the, the execution of this campaign? Yeah. Yeah. Look, we're super excited. It's, it's been a minute since mm -hmm. we've been on a large screen yeah, in some way, shape, or form. Experience, yeah, yeah. Um, and and so really, this this marks the return of it. Um, I think this particular campaign is different to anything that we've done in the past. There's a really strong loyalty mm -hmm. focus in this activity, and I think one of the most exciting things in terms of the targeting is what type of message the viewer is going to get depending on their involvement, their awareness with the right. Advantage program. Right. So even the call to action looks very different from a household that's part of the program versus one that's right. not. Right. It's very exciting. And what sort of drove the decision to sort of re-engage or engage? Is this the first time that you guys are executing in a long time in CTV or have you been sort we, of... We dabbled a little bit last year to see um, across the, with, you know, the standard media metrics as, mm -hmm. as the form of measurement there. I think this time now we have a lot more um, focus on reporting analytics sure. and, an, and analysis of mm -hmm. how do those different audiences perform. Mm -hmm. So um, building out a lot of test and control groups too mm -hmm. with those impressions of exposed versus not exposed. Sure. Um, everything that we're doing is digital. So right. with those enhancements in terms of reporting, that sort of allowed us to invest more comfortably, sure. I think, in those channels. And then share with us a little bit about your, you know, your media mix in general. I know obviously you're very digitally focused, spoke about digital out of home and CTV. Do you, do you see yourself sort of transitioning back into that brand bridge of traditional linear or how does, how does your approach vary either by campaign or tactic? Yeah, I, I don't know that I would confidently say that we'll transition back into linear. I mm -hmm. think it has a role to play sure. for sure. Do I think it will have the, the spend that it used to? No, mm -hmm. but those tried and true partners that we used to use for linear have those These digital, digital solutions, right? Exactly, and so I think that's that's the exciting part. Um, and I think with our media mix now, it's about finding partners and ways and technology providers that can draw that thread through each mm -hmm. of those channels. So did someone watch that CTV video through to completion? Sure. Did they scan the QR code? What was their online experience as a result of that? Mm -hmm. What page did they visit on AA.com? What cabin were they looking for? And then that changes what First message class. we retarget to them. <laughs> you and me both. Um, and so I think that's the exciting part. That's that's probably the biggest step change that we're we're seeing and continue to evolve. That's great. And then, you know, we talked a little bit about sort of your 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 customers. Um, when it comes to targeting either existing or prospective customers, what do you, are you deploying majority of first party data? Are there specific third party data providers that you're working with? And, you know, it, are there specific criteria that you're looking for with your third party data providers? Yeah. I I think as an airline, we're very fortunate. We have a rich, Robust first party data rich set. database. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of it, though, we don't use for marketing and advertising purposes. Mm -hmm. So, of course, we have a lot of sensitive information. So we're very we're very protective about how we, we use that data. And mm -hmm. most of the time, we can't for marketing purposes. For sure. um, but when you opt into the loyalty program, you do give us the ability to engage with you through different channels. So mm -hmm. email being some of them. Um, but then from the paid space, we're looking at how we activate against those loyalty members based on their tiered status. So what we know is most important to them as a loyalty member. Mm -hmm. um, when it relates to third party data, um, we're predominantly leveraging that for our non-advantage members, those non-frequent sure. flyers, to try to find lookalikes of the mm -hmm. existing database, um, but also then understand where media has the ability to most influence that next purchase. Sure. Thank you for sharing. And then share with us a little bit, if you would, obviously you have this new CTV tactic and on against all your digital investment. 
from a measurement perspective, you know, what what is driving sort of your your measurement roadmap or are there any specific partners that you're heavily reliant on in the space and you know proving out that proof of performance against your, you know, digital investment? Oh my gosh, I love this question because yeah. uh, we're learning every day, yeah. I would say. Um, we have brought on more partners from a reporting measurement perspective in mm. 23 than we've had ever collectively before. Right. ever before. Um, and I think that's that's exciting for us. So we have a media mix model. Yep. Um, we are leveraging the analytic services of MasterCard to help understand what spend and those macroeconomic uh, trends are occurring and sure. informing our business. Um, and then we've onboarded a new partner like Disco mm -hmm. this year to say, okay, well, what is the incrementality or the lift the from running infinity, this paid right? media? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I think for us, combining all of those, none of those are ever going to be perfect in isolation. Mm -hmm. We need to combine them. We we challenge our, our agencies to stitch sure. them together and say, well, what is the full picture? And then cross-reference it with our internal data from our revenue mm -hmm. management and loyalty uh, and commercial teams to go, well, now as a business, what are we seeing as that customer's interaction as they, they move through sure. that path to purchase? It's exciting. A lot of data touch points, I'm sure. Um, and then, so outside of your new CTV launch, is there anything new or exciting sort of on your go-to-market strategy for the remainder of the year? Or as you, we were saying this really scary 2020, we're just in 2023, but obviously always future forward. Anything else sort of on the horizon that is you're, you can share, interested in sharing? So I think for the rest of this year, it'll be stick with the channels that we've got. There are a lot of learnings. It takes time, right? right? So try not to be... So reactive. So reactive, of, maybe yeah. not pivot too much, mm -hmm. um, but stick with them and make those tweaks and optimizations as we go. Um, but certainly from a creative standpoint, mm -hmm. we can make changes in more real time, whether it be Something. through dynamic or switch it out in, in right. the next flight. So that's probably for this year. I think as we move into 2024, uh, which is probably right around the it's, corner from a planning perspective, it'll be let's take the learnings from an audience perspective mm -hmm. and then understand who that next best customer is for us. Um, a lot of us are selling flights. Mm -hmm. A lot of us are trying to drive loyalty across the travel right. verticals. Um, but what does our customer look like and what do they value? How do we make a travel experience mm -hmm. better and more rewarding for an American Airlines flyer is, is really what we're focused on. Well, thank you so much. So great. That's all we have for today. We appreciate you sharing these insights on behalf of your brand and your role. Um, and hope to see you again soon at another event. I can't wait. It's been Thank fantastic. You. Thank you.